My name is Abel Sanchez. I am the Executive Director, Research Director of the Geospatial Data Center. And I have also taught for over 20 years at MIT. My work throughout the last 20 years has had a number of areas. If I had to summarize it and bring it into one, I would say is the importance of data. I looked at data from the point of view of supply chains. I looked at data from the point of view of building world architectures for decision making in large multinational corporations. And I've looked at it in the context of security. Through many of these areas, we're touching on AI, we're talking on IoT, we're talking on security, and many other domains, but the current thread, or, or the main thread running through all of this, is data. So it seems odd to have to argue for the importance of data. However, it is something that we still haven't realized. I work with a lot of global companies, a lot of the Fortune 50 type companies. And believe it or not, these companies, the majority of them, still haven't realized the data-driven organization. The organization that can make better decisions with their data. And the reason this is important is because we tend to make decisions based on intuition. And that is fraught with all kinds of problems, as you can imagine. Now, if we have better data, we can make better decisions. However, and this is a hard number that I've seen over and over again, in most corporations, only 10 to 20% of the people have access to the data, have the technical skill set to be able to work and use that data, which means that everybody else has to go through a centralized resource, which means they have to get in a queue and you have to prioritize. So the goal of this new generation of technology when it comes to data, what's often referred to as the modern data stack, is to be able to give access to the other 80%, to democratize access to data. Now that is something that Organization after organization that I talked to has not been able to realize. So we talk about changing culture. We talk about the modern data stack, the technologies. We talk about the opportunity to have operational insights into better decision making. We talk about the opportunity to have strategic access to data for better decisions. Digital technology is one of those things that is hard to put your arms around it. We all sense it, we feel it, we see it in the world around us. So because of it, we have anchored it with five technologies. There are more, but these are some of the core ones. The first one is the Internet of Things. This is earlier access to data. This gives us earlier opportunities for decision making. And it is something that we can store in the following two technologies. When it comes to cloud, we can store data now at a tremendous volume. And it is something that we never had the opportunity to do at this scale previously. When it comes to the processing capability that we have on the cloud, the opportunity to be able to make smarter decisions, that is artificial intelligence, we have both the fuel and we have the engine. That is, we have the data and we have the processing capabilities. These are technologies that have existed for a long time, the algorithms that run against these resources. However, the opportunity to do it in a centralized way, leveraging the infrastructure that has existed in the past, is something that we haven't had an opportunity to do. Now, the last two, when it comes to cybersecurity and blockchain, if we don't have cybersecurity, we don't have anything. When it comes to securing our world, everything we do, the activities we carry out every day, all of them are running software. If we cannot secure that, we do not have anything. When it comes to blockchain, this is an opportunity to re-envision our platforms and re-envision our computational resources. With it, we can take a different approach, a decentralized approach, where we are collaborating peer-to-peer, -peer, where we have three new qualities that we've never had before. The first one is an identity. We've never agreed globally in an identity before. The second one is a currency. We do not have a global currency, much less one that is programmable. And we have a layer of logic that we can overlay this with. It's something that we've never had before.